Okay, so here we are back at the block. Um, you can see I've got those dowel rods down in each hole. And now I've taped off every piston. So dirt cannot get between the cylinders and the piston. Can't get onto the sidewalls, can't get down in towards the rings, all that kind of stuff. This is just regular old masking tape. I've uh, just taken little pieces and gone around in a circle and taped everything off. And you can already see some junk that fell down in there. Um, I plan on working dry here. I don't plan on using wet sandpaper. Reason being is because I think the drier it stays, the easier it's gonna to be to just vacuum up all the, the dust. Um, if stuff falls down in these pistons, again, the real point of contact is all taped off. It should just fall on top. I should be able to vacuum it off. Same thing with the oil holes. If stuff falls down in there, I should just be able to vacuum it off. Um, I also took the extra step of going through each one of these holes where the bolts are and putting some compressed air in each one just to make sure that, that there's no air coming out of an oil passage or a water jacket. Sometimes in this engine, um, the, the bolt holes are completely sealed off from the from the oil passages um, the oil passages basically or not the oil passages sorry the water jackets the water jackets go around each hole some cars the water actually passes through the hole um, and that's a concern for many reasons you you don't want stuff falling in there that can then get into your your coolant um, and then also when you go to put the car back together again when you put the head back on, you're gonna to have to put some kind of sealant on those threads so that uh, water can't make its way back from the coolant jacket into the bolt and then up into the rest of the engine where it doesn't really belong. But in this engine, it's a uh, 420A, we don't have that concern. 